Hello, everybody. Ah, ah, very good. Nice voice. <laughs> you think you. You, 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 you ever thought of a broadcasting, radio, television career? Uh, no. That's not official now, <laughs> we're not recording. Not? No, no. No. You're a funny guy, you can tell jokes or you're more serious like news anchor or... Kind of, I don't... I you have to get closer, it. please. Kind of. Ah, very good, kind of. So, now it's serious. Okay. Okay? <laughs> More or less. Herzlich willkommen zum Radio 7 Fan Talk mit unserer Nummer 44, Fedor! 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 They, they say Zugic, but it's Zugic. Or it's... You don't mind. It's Zugic. Zugic. Yeah. But it's pretty close, so... Pretty close? Yeah. So, I'm so, surprised how close it is. So, so when we say goodbye, we're much better with we, we, we say Zugic. Yeah, yeah. But it's Fedor or Fedor? Fedor. Fedor. Yeah. So very correct, it would be Fedor Zugic. Exactly. Okay. Also, Markzeug, so machen wir das dann nachher. So, Fedor, it's nice to have you here. It would be much nicer when we had a win, but tonight Bayern was too strong. In the first half, uh, you competed very well. In the ersten Halbzeit ging es ganz gut. What was in the second half? They made a run in the Oops. they made a run in the, in the third quarter. You know, we didn't have energy that we needed to you know to, to win the game. I think we gave it our best at the moment. So I guess we're going to see them in the playoffs now and prove them wrong again. So. Oh yes, that's I, it's very probably that we have them yeah. in in the playoffs. Yeah. But they can already be the first in the in the league. I think so. Also, es kann natürlich sein, wir kriegen die Bayern wieder. So personally, for, for you, it was, how, how was the game for you tonight? Uh, it was tough. It was tough. They were really physical. Yeah. You know, I was struggling a little bit. Didn't help the team as much as I wanted to, but, you know, as I'm saying, playoffs matter, so I'm going to see them again. Also, Fedor sagt, es war wirklich hart heute zu spielen. Die Matchups waren, äh, waren wirklich anstrengend. Aber jetzt schaut man Richtung Playoffs und äh, schaut auch schon ein bisschen auf die Energie. Coach said in the press conference, Uh, the Gießen game is already the, the beginning of the playoffs for him. Also Coach hat in der Pressekonferenz gesagt, Gießen, Sonntagnachmittag gehen eigentlich die Playoffs schon los. Uh, what does he mean with, with, with something like that? Was meint er denn damit? I mean, you need to go in the playoffs with a statement, you know. It's, it's not good to go into playoffs with a loss. So it's, it's good for our confidence, for, for entering the playoffs as the winners, you know. So, you know, it's going to be a point game for us. Okay, er sagt, also man muss einfach mit dem richtigen Rhythmus reingehen, am besten mit dem Sieg in die Playoffs starten. Es hilft gar nichts, wenn man sich da zurücknimmt, sondern man muss eigentlich gleich einen raushauen. So, it's your first year in Ulm, Fedor. So, how you enjoy Ulm in Germany so far? Wie, wie gefällt es dir in Ulm und in Deutschland so weit? I like Ulm very much, you know. It's a small city, beautiful. I like it here, you know. My parents also love it here. Your parents they, yeah, love it here. Yeah, they're, they're talking about moving to Ulm, so you know you <laughs> can say you can also say we like it. Würden gerne hierher ziehen. You, you can say we like it, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, so and, and how's your German? Wie ist denn dein Deutsch? Uh, so, so 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 so. Yeah. So so you can order something to eat if you're some some somewhere, or you do it in English? <laughs> Definitely not. Definitely in English. not <laughs> English. No, always English. Yeah. So. Yeah. What, what is your favorite German word so far? Gibt's gibt's sowas wie ein Lieblingsdeutsches Wort? Dankeschön. That's the one I use the most. <laughs> uh, Everybody that, uses that's that always the most. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Dankeschön, Dankeschön, Dankeschön. Exactly. But don't say to uh, FC Bayern Dankeschön. No, 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 no definitely no, no, not. No, 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 not at all, not at all. So you moved here to, to make the, the next step in your career. Uh, you play EuroCup, you play uh, playoffs. So. Uh, how, how was that? How is that season so far compared with your uh, with your thoughts when you come here? It was really tough for me to to adapt because German league and, and Euro Cup with the German team also is a lot different. But I came from you know it's a, li a lot faster, more shots you know that we call it running. Also, er sagt hierher zu wechseln war sehr schwierig, weil schneller gespielt wird. Es werden mehr Schüsse genommen. A lot more dynamic than yeah. where I come from. So. It's still, I still need my time to adjust, you know, even after all this season, I'm still like trying to, to get my best shape in this kind of game and I think I'm on the right way. Uh, also er sagt, er versucht immer das Beste zu geben, in die beste Form zu kommen und er denkt, er sei auf dem richtigen Weg. You're, you're still very young, you're now 18? 
Yes. Ja, also der junge Mann ist erstmal 18 Jahre alt. You are the, the youngest uh, player that ever played Euroleague, I think. Uh, also er ist nach wie vor der jüngste Spieler, der jemals in der Euroleague eingesetzt wurde mit, mit 15 Jahren. So, why your decision for Ulm and Germany and not some other country with like big names in, 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 in the European basketball? It's kind of a funny story because I met with Coach Yaka and everybody from Ulm on the Euroleague tournament. So, okay. it was a junior Euroleague tournament. I had a great games there, great tournament. That's where I met Yaka and, and Thomas and everybody from the office and we had a great talk and then they showed me the campus and then I, sh I saw the development of other young players who I have known before from Ulm. So that was the, 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 main, th the main reason I came and that, that's the main reason I gave them my trust because I feel like they are one of the best teams in Europe that develop young players and, and give them freedom to, to, to become the best version of themselves, you know. Und es war so viel Lob gleich auf einmal. Also er hat Coach Jaka bei einem Euroleague-Jugendturnier äh, getroffen, mit Thomas Stoll geredet, mit Jaka Lakovic. Äh, sie haben ihm den Campus gezeigt, sie haben ihm das Programm gezeigt und Fedor sagt, äh, es sind so viele Spieler, die sich hier gut entwickelt haben, die den nächsten Schritt gemacht haben. Und Ratzo vom Ulm ist die beste Adresse für junge Spieler, äh, wenn man in Europa herkommen will. So äh, Fedor, so what's your plans for, for the rest of the season? How far you want to get? Uh, we're definitely looking at the first round of Euro Cup. I believe we're gonna we're gonna make it, and then we're gonna see who our opponents are in the half finals and finals. But I believe we can do it all. Yeah, you had great games uh, against big teams in the Euro Cup against Barcelona, and it was very close against Bologna. So how special is it to play against so big teams in Europe? Wie wie speziell ist es gegen Teams wie Barcelona oder gegen Bologna zu spielen? It was really special because kids my age don't usually get the chance to play on the on the highest level in Europe like I did. So it was it was a privilege for me to say, and I really enjoyed it. You know, battling with my guys there, it was it was amazing, and the atmosphere in Bologna was was uh, really really nice, and it was like one of the first times for me to play in that kind of environment, and and I like it really much. You know. Also es ist eine Ehre für ihn, gegen solche Vereine zu spielen. Es war ein Erlebnis, vor allem in Bologna, mit dieser, mit dieser Rundhalle, in der es sehr, sehr laut ist, glaube ich. Und äh, ja, der richtige Schritt. So, jetzt die Gelegenheit für euch, bevor wir zu den Zufallsfragen kommen. Habt ihr denn eine Frage? Gibt es eine Frage, die ihr Fedor stellen wollt? Fedor stellen wollt? Dann Handzeichen? Nein? So, we got some... Um some random questions and, and therefore this is the machine okay. like you mix it like this and the other way around you you got a um, a ball with, with a number you tell me the number and i have the question okay right? so i spin it now in this ah, okay do it it's uh, that's it yeah that's it that's the one oh, oh. Opa. don't get hurt number eight number eight so number eight, we have like five questions. Drama, comedy or action, which genre would have the filming of your life? <laughs> also die Frage ist, welches Genre hätte ein Film über sein Leben? Drama, action, comedy? I would say comedy. Your comedy type of yeah. guy? I'm very positive and you know, I like to joke around and... Uh, you're, you're not a, the action like... I mean, there's a lot of everything, yeah, okay. especially drama, you know, because of all the things that happen. <laughs> but I would say, you know, be positive through it all. Okay. So let's say comedy. Also, sein, seine Lebensgeschichte wäre eher Comedy. Er hat aber eine ganze Menge Aspekte uh, an, an seiner Persönlichkeit. Aber Comedy wäre so das nächste. Okay, we take this. 59. 59. Uh, Cook yourself or have it delivered? Selber kochen oder geliefert bekommen? Uh, cook for myself. You're a cook as well? Yeah, I like to cook. I really do. Okay, so, so what, what's your favorite dish if you cook by yourself? I mean, kochst du am liebsten? I take my pride in uh, chicken and uh, rice that I make with curry sauce. Okay. I think that's my specialty. But that's not, not really a, from Montenegro, right? Chicken with rice and curry sauce? No, not exactly, no, no. <laughs> also er kocht am liebsten Chicken, also Huhn mit Reis und mit Curry Soße, kocht aber viel. So, very good. Cook by yourself. Next one? Like, yeah. This one. This one to mix it. And the other way, 
round, and one falls off. Pair broke it down because that, that's, that's not really working. Two. Number two. What do you need to feel at home in a strange place? So that's interesting. What, what have you to hear, if you live here, to feel like being home? It's like a picture of your family or music from Montenegro or <laughs> something like that? I just need, I just need my, my friends, my teammates. You know, I think wherever you are right now, if you have friends with okay. you, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's nice. So I would say wherever my friends are, that's where the home is. Okay, er sagt, wichtig, um sich zu Hause zu fühlen, ist Freunde um sich zu haben. Hier natürlich auch die Mannschaftskameraden. Es ist dort, wo die Freunde sind, ist das zu Hause. Okay, next one. Ah, that's very close. This one. 38. 38. Two more left. What if you are record? That, that's a kind of... Which three things you can do not? Which three things you cannot do without? Ah, okay. Uh, I would say my phone, <laughs> uh, of course. Oh, uh, sehr überraschend. Drei Dinge, auf die er nicht verzichten kann. Erstmal sein Handy. Next thing I would say my headphones. You know, your music kind of guy. Our music kind of guy. Yeah. yeah. Also er braucht dringend noch seine Kopfhörer, weil er viel Musik hört. Which kind of music you? you It's a um, favorite? Everything, you know. I'm from, everything. Bo from Balkan music to, to rap, so stage, Balkan to hip-hop. So Balkan pop as yeah. well? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Mix of everything. Okay, from Balkan pop is hip-hop. So we'd like to have a playlist from you in the next season. Oh, trust me, you don't want to hear that. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. We have a, we, we have schon mal a playlist von Tommy Kleber es gab. Uh, that was very strange as well. So. Yeah, Tommy is really strange about his music taste. <laughs> also Tommy had a komische Musikgeschmack. So last question, please. Yep. 26. 26. What do you have in your pocket right now? My phone. Car keys. Nothing else? Car keys. Car keys? That's it. That's it. You're, you, you, you are, you are a more credit card guy or more... more Only credit card. Uh, okay. Yeah. As I, was, I was a cash guy when I was home, but I see... Everybody in Germany just goes credit card, so I changed. Okay, also nie Kleingeld in der Tasche, immer nur Kreditkarte und das Handy und die Autoschlüssel. Das ist alles. So, thank you so far. Wollt ihr noch Autogramme haben? Dann gibt es jetzt gleich Gelegenheit dazu. Das war der Radio 7 Fantor mit Fedor Zugic. Fedor Zugic. Okay. Yes. Goodbye, Fedor. Jetzt noch einmal bitte mit einem schönen Sch. Fedor. Yeah, very good. Ah, thank, thank you. Thank you, Fedor. Thank you, thank you. Maybe they want to have an autograph? I have a stift on my Ah, you have it. You have it on your face.